This is just the cases that make you sad. Um, this oh is a 73-year-old African-American female with acute on chronic kidney disease. She has a history of sarcoidosis and had a jump in serum creatinine from 1.3 to 3.5. Um, has 2.1 gram per gram proteinuria, hypertension, and diabetes. And I've got a little bit more history that I'll save. Okay, well, severe chronicity. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, not much, many glomerulites to look at, but this one looks diabetic. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it is, but it certainly has some ocular. It has a very Yeah, it's very uniform. Yeah, it's a little segmental sclerosis down there on the edge. Yeah, that's all the seg nothing doesn't mean anything. You can't hide nothing. Here's a little bit of sort of a smudgy quality to it. Mm -hmm. it's chunky. It's chunky crackable. Quality. Yeah. Uh, Jolly Rancher. So we're thinking uh, Jolly Rancher. Let's look at the silver. You know, pathologists in our food references were horrible. Yeah. Yeah. We're just horrible. That's all we did. And then they go buy them and eat them. Yeah. SMMT. Yeah, it's like a C3 or something. That's a beautiful Chris Lee one right there. Yeah, I didn't do anything with the epithelial proliferation of Bowman space, I don't think. I, don't I think the IF is going to be our guy. I hope yes. the IF is going to help us. Because yes. right now, it's all chronic to me, and I can be guessing at stuff. So, and that's exactly the piece of history I've been leaving out. She did have a kappa lambda ratio of 5 to 1. So we see C3, and then we have kappa. Oh, here it comes. Lambda. Bingo. Yeah. Again, on the arterials, uh, kappa. Oh, this is the other kappa. Oh, wow. Wow. goodness. And this is lambda. Yeah. I mean, you're going to. So, and she did have, everybody was talking about thick and loops. She does have diabetic glomerulopathy. The loops were a thousand nanometers. So okay. it's LCVD, diabetes. Yeah, but that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Wait a minute, that diabetes has been packed with the LCD. Yeah. It has just been the packed. The light yeah. chain deposition disease is what we're bringing yeah. in there. I mean, that's the powdery stuff. Yeah. So it's just a sad diagnosis. Because of her history of really active sarcoid, and they thought this was going to be just a granulomatous tubular or sarcoiditis. <coughs> um, outside of the kappa lambda ratio, they hadn't really worked the patient up. Well, it yeah. may be a sudden finding. I was told that it was an acute increase, but this is a patient that they've managed for more than five years, so I'm assuming she's probably coming in for diabetes yeah, and sarcoid yeah, every six months sense. or every quarter. So And the other question I always wonder is when you say a sudden increase, if we go from 2.9 up to 4, in which case our GFR change. Yeah, Big. It looks big, so, yeah. you know, the, the, but it's really not. He's yeah. just falling off the, off, off the hill. Did you see TBM deposits by hand? Yeah. You know, I did not see TBM, but I didn't get a good representation. The glomeruli was just packed with it. So I didn't go back. Yeah, yeah, I didn't go back. I, I, I almost did just to be thorough, but I had the diagnosis. And this is a really interesting case. Yeah. Steve, what else have we got? We have a 70-year-old.